I was just mouthing the words. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get something to happen. I don't know, guys. If it don't work this time, we're just going to call it a night on this. So, yeah, hi. Hey, what's up, Jesse Solomon? Yes, I do remember you, Jesse. I do remember you. Thanks for coming in. So, Jake Potter, how you been doing, my friend? It has been a while, Jesse. It has been a while, man. Uh, so, you fucked up your leg? What'd you do? Let me guess. Some kind of a crazy move, and Jake landed wrong. I've been doing all right, Jesse. I've been living. You know, it's all we can do is live. You know. Joker John's back. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming back, Joker. How are you doing, man? Nah, I knew it, Jake. I know how that game works. I know how that game works. Um, so, yeah. So, for those of you who didn't know... Um, I got like four shirts on. It's cold here where I am. Uh, for those of you that didn't know, um, I went and took a little hiatus. Um, had to get back uh, to the real me, if that makes sense. I don't know. I was, I. I was worrying too much about other people's problems instead of worrying about myself first, which is the only way we can live. So I had to get back to that. Um, shooting star press, the guy moved. I landed on my feet, but I blew out my left leg. Yep. Yeah, I've heard they have bad problems with that, Joker John, on the 76. Um, I'm sure they'll get it worked out. Uh, everybody is bashing that game. I'm um, not to get off topic, but everybody is bashing that game. And everybody's bashing it, but you have to remember there was massive problems when Fallout 4 came out. I just think that Bethesda may have bit off a little more than they could they could chew. Um, with the amount of improvements they were trying to make, but they were stepping back from what they needed to do which was give us a story you know give us something that when we go into a bunker and it has some kind of a random note it's going to lead somewhere it's just my opinion you know that's why i haven't that's why i haven't streamed any of it to be honest with you um i agree with what jesse said yeah they kind of wanted to test it. They got a good thing, though. They got the Elder Scrolls online. I mean, Bethesda knows how to work it. It's just like they just... I have no clue. Because the hype behind this game was so huge. And the disappointment that they have to have right now... Holy crap. I mean, they put a lot of money behind this game. And it is a total flop. I don't know what the actual sales are, but I know they aren't what, it, what they expected. Um, and I've been watching. I, I watch a, a guy. He doesn't need my plug or anything. I, I watch many a true nerd. Um, many a true nerd. He's a guy from England. Um, he's an awesome streamer. Um, he's got the insides. He always does um, Bethesda type games. 
um, they actually took him and flew him to West Virginia before the 76 came out uh, for like a tour of all the places that were going to be in the game. So he's kind of a big player as far as that goes. Um, but he tries his damnedest. I mean, with as much as that there is wrong with this game, he tries his damnedest. Um, to play the game to its full potential, and I would go, I would go check that out. His playthrough on the '76 has honestly, and I haven't purchased the game at all. Um, I'm still on the fence whether or not I'm going to purchase it. Uh, but his playthrough has made me think I'm going to purchase the game just because of watching it. I want to talk to that NBC. I want Quest. Yeah, exactly, Jesse. And and I think Fallout has gone away from that. And this, like I said, these are all my opinions. From what I've seen on 76, they've gone away from the NPC quests, uh, random type quests. And now you have to go throughout the world in the game and figure out your own quest I mean because like I said this many a true nerd guy no problem I mean he he bashes on the game like we all do for the glitches and the stupid shit and everything but he will follow these quests you know he will follow um, random scraps of paper and notes on terminals and stuff trying to figure out the quests and he'll follow them like all the way to the end and he'll be like what the hell you guys kind of dropped the ball here because you know I followed this all the way through and the gameplay looks awesome I mean it does of course they've done the typical Bethesda thing where they 10 millimeter was so powerful and fall Fallout 4, they've switched around 10 millimeter ain't powerful at all, so you know. Yes, I agree with Jesse. I I agree, Jesse. I mean I and like I said, I don't own the game. I've just been watching this guy play through. But from what I can see, and this guy is a gamer. Okay, I mean, I'm lucky to get a 50 views on a video. This guy gets 20, 30,000 every video he puts out. So he can game. And for Bethesda to fly him there, he, he knows Bethesda type games, but I agree, man. They just totally drop the ball. I mean, yeah, let's push the multiplayer. Let's push everybody doing all this stuff together. But where are you going to go once you get to the end of the quest and you're like, what? Or you get to the end of a, and you're reading, you know, terminals or scraps of paper and you're like, I should have saw this, you know, 20 hours ago in my playthrough. Why the hell am I seeing it now? And why hasn't there been any direction to this now? I mean, they're pushing the multiplayer and they're pushing the... You can buy any settlement you want. Or workshop, excuse me. Any workshop you want. But then you, you know, this guy, he's like going through and he's buying these workshops. And you're know, like... I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> you know? So, I don't know. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean, Jesse. I know exactly what you mean. I was, I was actually... 
upset, um, like sad, not mad, but sad. When I sat through the E3 conference and Todd come out there and said um, that there was not really going to be a solo, you know, story game. I was saddened by that because even at Skyrim or any of the Bethesda games, Fallout, Fallout 4, one of my favorites all time. I still, I, I'm, I'm doing a run on it now, offline. Um, started from the beginning. I'm probably going to pop in and throw some of that up now, but it's 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 sad that they didn't that they kind of threw all their all their eggs in one basket with the multiplayer and then it's such a catastrophe because at least with Fallout 4 when they threw everything into what they did into that you at least still had the main storyline there's not really a main storyline in Fallout 76. You're just wandering around looking for scraps of paper and looking for terminals. And nine times out of ten, what you follow on that probably doesn't lead to an end result, if you understand what I'm saying. But I know exactly what Jesse's saying. It was just sad sad and I know that they're sad I mean this was their fucking this was going to be their cash cow and and they do and then not to bash Bethesda they have been saying over and over be, since the beginning and they have um, faithfully been providing updates for the glitches and everything else and they've got um you know quests and stuff coming but mine 69 has a feeling that those are going to be dlcs and they're going to cost you whatever they determine they're going to cost you do you see what i'm saying so they've not only got their 65 75 bucks for the game that everyone says is crap, which basically is, sorry, crap. Um, they're going to start producing more updates and more content that you can pay more money to play. Now, I've seen um, other games that have done well on this. Um, I'm not going to name them but y'all know what I'm talking about um but at least with Fallout 4 they had a good and not a good but they had a solid base to build from and then you could put out Far Harbor and then you could put out Nuka World and Omatron uh, all that Creation Club workshop, everything. And get people to pay for it. Try pumping that out now. Bethesda? Never gonna happen, man. You have got so many disgruntled people that it's just crazy. But if you would have had a main storyline just to tie it all together and keep your multiplayer in there but just the main storyline some for people to they didn't have to follow the whole storyline they only had to just walk down the path to get them going it's what you did in Fallout 4 that worked like gangbusters now all of a sudden somebody's in the back room in a bathroom with his penis in his hand excuse my language just beating that sucker to the end of time and thinks he's got a great idea on a multiplayer game that really has no thought. And these are the people that produce Bethesda, you know, 
produced Skyrim 2010 from 2019 and that thing is still breaking around do you see what I'm saying here I mean it's like where did you guys lose mental capacity to realize that a role playing game an open world game should have a purpose I, I could go out tomorrow and I have no clue about how to make a game anything but I can go out tomorrow and I can find a you know handful of guys that can create me an open world map and we could make it multiplayer and just put all the shit we did from our last game in it not really give them a story and make a bundle of money they're not making the bundles they thought so it's just not I, I agree with what Jesse just said it just doesn't have the same feel as Fallout 4 I mean I, I don't know I mean normally and I've played games since Atari 1 system okay Normally, when you put a game in, no matter how bad said game is, there's a direction. There's a plot. There's a story. There's a whatever you want to call it. There's a whatever. There's something to kind of get you going. I haven't seen that in 76. I, I haven't. And I'm so sad because of that. Because of the simple fact that that's what I wanted, man. I th I was expecting. I was bummed out when he said there wasn't going to be any kind of solo thing you could do. Um, as far as a storyline or anything like that. I was sad when there was no storyline. But then I just... And then I stood back. And, and I thought, you know, I'm going to buy this today. It comes out, I'm going to buy it. I said, ah. Then a little voice in my head said, ah, just wait. Just, just see what it's about. I, I'll probably buy it. Just for the fact it's a Fallout game. And I, I love Fallout games. I love them. Man, I love them. Um... And and from what I can see, from what many a true nerd's been doing, um, there's plenty of exploring and stuff. But like he says, as he's exploring, you know, I just walk up into a random town, and there'll be loot in random places, and then a random note that leads nowhere, and you're like, "What was that?" <laughs> But I wanted to get on here and I wanted to rant a little bit about that just because I love to talk about it. Red Dead Online still has a good storyline. Really? You know, I've been looking at that Red Dead Re Redemption um, back in the day, years ago, I think it was on maybe the PS3? Yeah. I think it was three when they first came out with the Red Dead Redemption. I wasn't really into it, but I didn't really. I mean, I, I had never ever played an open world game like that before, and walking around collecting flowers, I was like, "What the hell?" But now that I've been, you know, it's many years into it. I see the game for what it's worth. And I was actually contemplating by Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, just because I like the way the story looks in that one. Because to me, and I don't know how you guys feel about this. Or how anybody else feels about this. And you're welcome to leave comments later about it. You gotta have a story in a game. You gotta have a story. You gotta have something, to, <laughs> some kind of direction. I mean, yeah, Fallout 76 has got a huge new world. 
it's just a place to wander. There's really no direction. You know, there's no quests that I've seen, and he's only like on part 27. But there's no quests or no side projects to do that I've seen that directs you to all parts of the map like Fallout 4 did. Or like Skyrim even does. Still, to this day. So, I don't know. Those are my opinions. If you don't like my opinions, hey man, that's all gravy, baby. I don't like my opinions most times either. Thirty-four to eighty people in the server. Wow, and I know, I know, um, just from in my brain and knowing how big this was supposed to be, I know they were expecting way more than that. I mean, they were expecting probably millions of people all at once trying to play one game. So, you know. When I can go to my used video game store and Fallout 76 is already at 35 bucks, not necessarily good. So, and like I said, maybe they will make improvements to this and maybe they will make this the best game we've ever seen. But Fallout 4 just had that little bit of an edge. They had a story. Fallout 3 little bit of an edge had a story and then once it came out I was so disappointed I expected more yeah I think everybody did Jesse I really do man. I really do and I've never ever played the game don't own it haven't played it but yeah and and you know what? They've done so many killer things with old Fallout games. Uh, New Vegas, they got Dust. They got uh, the California mod for it. They got Fallout 4 Frost. You know, they've done so many things with the basic storyline. But there's no basic storyline in 76. So where can you modify something that has no story? I mean, that's what mods are, people. Now, that's what mods are. They are to take the initial game and enhance it to make it better in ways that the original, original, excuse me, original developers hadn't thought of. Or to put a whole new twist on it like California or dust or or um, frost you know they put a whole nother they just get in there and retweet the whole game but they've got something to work with no one has anything to work with on 76 and all the modders that I know and I know a few I know the guy who modded frost that was his game Nagarin. Um I know a lot of of modders who've told me we that game went from purchase to on the shelf in a day because there's nothing to mod on it nothing and even if they add more to it as far as DLCs quests blah 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 it's too broke if they were smart and my opinion only if Bethesda was smart they would say we're going to leave it on the market but no this game is not done we've got a lot of fixing to do and we didn't realize it was as effed up as it actually is but they'll never do that so yeah New California just is awesome man and that Jesse Check out many a true nerd, man. You will like him. How you doing, Serena? Great to see you. You will like many a true nerd. He's playing through on New California right now. 
and he's a Bethesda all the way, but uh, yeah, let me see if I can figure it out. Hold on. He is a good streamer, Jesse, as far as, you know, video games go. Um, let's see. I'll put his link up here. Hopefully it'll let me. Yeah, well. How you doing, Halo? Here you go, Jesse. This should be his uh, homepage right there. Just check him out. Check him out, Jesse, because he he plays through on all the good games. I mean, as far as Bethesda goes, I mean he is he is a Bethesda maniac. Um, but like I said, they flew him to West Virginia and they took him on a tour of of the whole map of Fallout 76. So Yes, I do do know Alsace Breach. I do. I I'm subscribed to him, bro. Electro is back. It's great to see you, Halo. Yes, I do. Halo Smythe. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Halo Smythe. Where do I start on Halo? John Wick is a good movie. Halo Smythe. I, I first met Halo Smythe in uh, Kink. K-Y-N-K. Awesome. The reason I started streaming was because of Kink. I love you, Kink. Um, Halo Smythe first came into a Kink stream when he was doing his Sanctuary build. And we just hit it off. She's a great gal. She is now a streamer. I remember when Halo first asked, she said, Should I start streaming? I was like, get it, girl, go. And she is top notch. And if you guys haven't checked out Halo Smites, you need to go do it right now. Come back, of course. But go do it right now. Give her a like. Give her a sub. Give her everything because she's worth all that. Love you, Halo. It's great to see you. Yes, we used to party over there at Kink, Jesse. I remember. As sweet as the day is long. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Well, I wish I had the 76. Well, I, this was kind of my Bethesda 76 rant. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll buy it. You know, I'm just not going to buy it until they fix all the stuff. Fallout 4 again? I just started a new run of Fallout 4. I actually was trying to stream it. Uh, Jake will tell you. I was trying to stream it a week or so ago. And it got stuck on installing. But I got it installed. And I've been playing offline. And I think I'm up to level 10. You know, I've been waiting, Jake. I've been asking you. Role play? Yeah, I've I've got a new guy. I've been kind of role playing. Actually, I've been kind of talking off screen as I'm playing. I'm just talking because I'm so used to streaming when I play games. So I'm talking. But yeah, I've got a whole scenario worked out for the guy and everything. I will. Yeah, I want to do that breakout. Was it breakout or what was that called, Jake? Electro? I can't remember. But yeah, we we kind of stopped. You had some stuff going on. Then I had a whole bunch of stuff going on. A way out. There you go. Yeah. 
we'll for sure get back to that because I want to do some more of that. I still got Metro. I got, I got a basketball game now. I got a. I don't, did I even play basketball games? I don't play sports type games. Um, well, I do, but I don't. Uh, that was when I was younger, but. I like more of the open world role playing type games. So, yeah. What's up? New Metro? Yes. Yes. Oh, man. I've been playing that offline. That is a killer game. Well, just avoid them. Joker, avoid the Scorched Beast. Go check out Many a True Nerd. I just posted his his link up there. Go check him out. He'll show you how to avoid the Scorched Beast. This guy, and this is the kind of gamer this guy is, he played Fallout Frost, um, Fallout 4 Frost, and beat the whole thing, and he was only level 19. So... Kind of a good gamer. Most of the people who beat it are 65, 70 on level, so. Nala, how you doing? Great to see ya. Great to see you, Nala. Long time no see. How's it been going in Nala's world? Dust. <sighs> And I used to watch another, and look at me, I'm just promoting all these streamers. I used to watch another streamer that I loved. Actually, he wasn't a streamer. Um, more of a content creator. Um, he would record and edit his videos. Jono Krukov. Go check him out. Jono Krukov. He doesn't stream anymore. He doesn't make any content anymore. Um... God, I think he was around 11, 12,000 subs. And he just said, I'm done. See you later. Peace. Go get some. Frost, I wish. It, and I I just got done watching uh, John, many a true nerds, play through on Frost. And I started to watch Jono Kruko, his playthrough again. Um, these are playthroughs that I've watched, like, I'm a dork, so I've watched them, you know, five to ten times each for each streamer. Um, and every time I watch a playthrough of Frost, I almost go out and buy a game and PC. So how you doing wise? Great to see ya. I miss you too, Nala. Miss you too. Sixty subs. Get it, Joker. Get it. Get it. I'm not doing too bad. Wise, it's great to see you. I wanted to get on here and do a little rant um, on my disappointment with Fallout 76. I haven't actually played the game, but just from watching, um, yeah. I mean, I'm, I shouldn't say I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in the fact that they had something that they really, really they really could have made a truckload of money. <laughs> I mean, they had people in the palm of their hands. After Fallout 4, Bethesda had them right here. They were like, ah. <laughs> Yeah, and I've heard that, Halo. I and I was just kind of going through why I've heard that this 
street or servers, excuse me, have been crashing so much is because they were expecting so many more people and I think that they have way too much power. That's just my opinion. Could be wrong, probably wrong. But Will you rub it? You're a masseuse. Wait a minute now. That's my wise wizard. Nobody be rubbing. <laughs> I'm kidding. Exactly, Jesse. I mean, that's just what I've seen, man. The possibilities are endless. It's like they just forgot. They just forgot. So, hopefully, they'll get it fixed. If they don't, oh well, it'll be a good wander around game. Kind of like Far Cry 1. <laughs> you just kind of drove around a Jeep forever in the middle of a desert and really had no purpose. So, <clears throat> but. It's all gravy. We'll all get through it, and we'll all be all right. Um, I wanted to get on here, and I wanted to tell everybody I'm doing absolutely fantabulous. Um, head's clear. Everything's going great. Got a great job. Got a, got a bad haircut, but I got a great job. Bad eyes. We're going to get back together and we're going to do this again. I was, I, I've was, been playing Fallout offline, so. You know. I thought maybe I'd get up to level 20. You guys don't want to watch me struggle through the beginning. I mean, how much fun is that? I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Yes, I'm going to stream Fallout. Actually, probably within the next week or so, I'll do one. I wanted to do a vlog tonight. And do it. So. What do I do? I, I work in a warehouse. So. I'm a big forker. Forklifter. Actually, I do more than that, but you know. So. But I appreciate all you guys. Thanks for coming in. And I hope to see you again. Um, probably not my face, but maybe I might do a vlog between here and then. So. But I'm, I'm not. I want to get my character in Fallout 4. Because I used to have this shit, man. I had everything in that game. Holy mackerel. And then I had to get a new system and when you do that, you lose I don't know why that is. I mean, you should be able to save it in the cloud somewhere. And no matter if you get a new system or not, you don't have to start over. Maybe you can. I don't know. I don't know. Second night to the bad guy. That was my Al Pacino impression from Scarface. So. 69? Ooh. I like a good 69. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks, guys. Peace. Stay true to yourself. And remember, just because a game isn't for you doesn't mean it isn't for everybody else. So have fun, man. Play games, have fun. Life's a journey, not a destination. Peace.